Obviously, you had a great performance, but you're up against uh, Gilbert Melendez. Do you think that you closed the show for him, so to speak, of his career? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I think it should be the case. Now, obviously, you know, he's a veteran, but you are on a great win streak yourself. Where do you think this victory sets you up in the featherweight division? I, I mean, I don't know if a win over Gilbert puts me in the top 15. I kind of feel like it should, but a lot of people said I should already be there. But I, I don't, you know, I'd, yeah, whatever, whatever. If I'm 40th, we all know where I should be, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, I kicked him in the elbow a lot, and uh, that hurts. <laughs> anything in the match will surprise you at all? No, no, not at all. No, no. Yeah, Everything was as uh, as we planned. Everything was as my team said. You know, Faraz told me and everything we drilled, everything we went over, everything you know we talked about. Everything happened. Is the key to just moving up the featherweight division activity? Because you, know, you have a great record. I think you like to fight a little. Yeah, well, I'm still 25, so I mean, yeah. I keep fighting at this rate. I still have like 30 odd fights by the time I'm done. So I mean, yeah, I've had a lot of fights already. You know, I've been fighting since I was about 12, so I've had a lot of fights. It's not the experience isn't. It's not missing, it's there, so, you know, I've had a, a lot, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, we're all red, white and blue in me, so I don't want I don't want to be the bad guy, I don't want to be the bad guy, of course it's important. <laughs> um, I am going to be in the UK for a week, and couple of weeks cornering a teammate Louis Sanadaki he's fighting oh, right yeah I'm gonna be cornering there so I'm going back to Montreal to help him for the end of his uh, camp and then back to back to England sorry guys and then uh, yeah I missed my dog's birthday July 4th actually it was my dog's birthday so yeah uh -huh. this was a big card and you know obviously you probably have options in terms of where you want to fight next do you want to be on another big card do you want to be back in the UK where, where does our challenge want to fight next yeah I mean Cards don't really get much bigger than this one, do they? So, I mean, it felt no different to fighting in a London card. Maybe that's because I'm, that's my neck of the woods, and uh, they give me a bit more noise. So, well, the arena at the O2 is pretty big, so maybe I don't know where it stacks over this one. But yeah, I mean, if they make me wait till London now, I don't mind. So yeah, December, London, whatever. It is what it is. Did you feel the earthquake yesterday? I didn't. There's been two, and people keep saying that. I, I, I haven't felt some. My, my girlfriend was sitting in the room having a panic attack, and I was like, what are you talking about an earthquake? Did you think she was upset with you? Yeah, yeah, I was like, what's wrong? And I come back from the workout room, and she's sitting there like, <laughs> oh, okay. Hopefully there's not enough one. You were, you were working out when it happened, or you just wanted to be cliche? What's going on? Yeah, I was in the workout room, and I was, because I was like dehydrated, I did feel like a, I, I kind of stood up fast, and I went like that. And I thought, oh shit, you know, I'm, I'm a bit dehydrated. I thought it was that, so maybe it was that, I don't know, I don't know. Or maybe I was just dehydrated. I'm you know, <laughs> not sure. Uh, yeah. We're good. Thanks, guys. No problem. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, guys. Cool. Thanks. <laughs>